fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high old silver, the Lone Ranger. faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the daring and resourceful masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoof beats of a great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Lone Silver, let's go, big fellow. I'm Silver. Hooray! Hawkslade had a grim expression on his cruel face when he came from his ranch house. He slammed the door in anger. <laughs> there was purpose in his steps as he walked through the moonlight across the hard packed earth between the house and the bunkhouse. His mouth was compressed to a hard line, and his hands were clenched into fists. <laughs> The cowhands saw the expression on Hawk Slade's face and lost interest in their poker game. They grew silent, waiting for the boss to speak. Slade's icy gaze centered on a youthful cowhand who had not been in the poker game. You. You mean me, Mr. Slade? I mean you. Come here. Yes, sir. You hired out to me a month ago. That's right. You said your name was Jack Burton. I, uh, well, You I... lied. <laughs> well, look, Mr. Slade, Your I... name is Brad Whitman. Oh, I, I don't... You came here to spy on us. Oh, wait, Mr. Slade. You're old Jeff Whitman's grandson. And he planted you here to find out her plans. You're a sneaking spy, and here's what I think of you. <laughs> if you don't like being slapped, go for your gun. Here, with your crew to back your play? <laughs> no, Slade. You aim to shoot me, you'll have to do it without my slapping leather. Yeller. I'm not giving you the chance to call it self defense. How long do you think you'd get away with it? How'd you find out about me? The man from up north recognized you and told the barkeep in town. The barkeep told me. Oh. That because you wasn't raised on these parts, nobody would know you, huh? Now that you know who I am, I reckon you won't want to be paying me wages. Get my duffman clear out. You, uh, you think you're leaving this outfit? Well? You must think I'm a fool. Slade, what I think of you is worse than that. You come here and hire out under a fake name. You work for me for a month. You get a chance to poke around and find out things. And now you got the notion after all that, I'm going to just let you ride out of here to tell Jeff what you learned, huh? Well, guess again. Are you saying I can't leave? That's just what I'm saying. 
What you've learned won't help Jeff one bit. You're keeping me prisoner? Grab him, boys. Time up. Now, wait a minute. Let me go. Wait. He's hard to handle. Get him on the head. I'll fix him. Yeah, that got him. Now put ropes on him. Meanwhile, the Lone Ranger and Tonto guided their horses at a slow walk through the moonlight toward another ranch. There's Jeff Whitman's place, Tonto. Ah. You can't see much of it in the moonlight. It looks as if it's quite run down. Mm, that's right. Look at Ridge of Barn. Yes. If it sagged much more, it would fall in. Notice the corral. That needs a lot of repairing, too. What matter with Whitman Ranch? The answer to that, Toto, can be told in just two words. Hawk Slade. Oh, what him do? Last time I came through here, Whitman's Ranch was one of the finest outfits in the county. You were with me, Toto. Oh, you remember. Fine, fat cattle, good grazing, good building. Oh, that's plenty different now. We've been told the truth. Things are going to be much worse for Jeff Whitman. What happened to old fella? Jeff was the first rancher to enter this valley. For years, his cattle had the entire valley to themselves. Ah. Uh-huh. And like so many others of his type, Jeff didn't recognize the signs of changing times. Mm, what happened? Homestead laws were passed. Jeff didn't think they affected him until Hawk Slade arrived. What him do? Slade's men filed claims on the best parts of the valley. I mean, Sammy. Jeff tried to fight. They found that the law was against him. Ah. Uh-huh. He might have gotten along with other men, but not with Slade. Slade came here determined to get the valley for himself. He's nearly done it. Mm, that's plenty bad. I have an idea that Slade's been too greedy. I'd like to find out if he stayed within the law. You think him crook? Yes, I do, Toto. You know, I'd hate to see Jeff go under. He's the kind of man the West needs. The West would be better off without Hawk Slade's kind. Right up, Tonto. We'll stop here. Oh, 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 Steady, make oh. up. Leave our horses here among the trees. Go the rest of the way to the house on foot. Ah. Uh, <coughs> Look in window, Kim Asambi. Oh. You see old fella? Yes. Old Jeff Whitman. The man is dismounting near the house. Stop. Do you think it's Brad? Oh, it might be. Maybe he rode over from Slade's ranch. For oh, sakes alive. No, it can't be Brad. He wouldn't rap on the door. Well, I'll see who it is. Oh, Mr. Whitman? That's your name, isn't it? Yes. You uh, don't know me, but I got I to... know you. Your name's Randy Simpson, and you work for Hawk Slade. That's right. I want to speak to you. Well, step right in. This is my wife. How do you do, Mrs. Whitman? How do you do? Now, stick up your hands. What the... Get him up. What's the idea, Whitman? I came here to tell you something. Because Hawk sent you, probably. Well, talk fast. Then I'll ask questions. I did work for Hawk Slade, but I don't anymore. When I went to work for him, I didn't know what kind of a coyote he was. I needed a job, so I went to Slade's ranch and got one. Yeah? I didn't know what was going on there. Let me explain. Go on. Explain. I came here because I want a job with you. I came here because I found out what kind of a polecat Hawk Slade is. That sounds convincing. He wants to get rid of you so he can control this whole region. We know he does, and he'll try some underhanded way to do it. Your uh, grandson got a job at his place to spy on him, didn't he? You, you know? Brad might have learned what Slade is scheming if his luck hadn't gone sour. Gone sour? Yeah, Slade found out who he was. That's why I came here. I thought you ought to know about it. Oh, what did they do to Brad? They've got him tied up. At the ranch? No. They took him to a shanty just this side of Bullhide Creek. They're going to keep him there till just before sun up. Then what? Then they're going to take him to Echo Canyon. 
They're going to make it look like his horse slipped and went over the side. They're going to murder him. Jeff, you've got to do something. But how'd they find out that Brad was my grandson? He hasn't been in this part of the country for years. Never mind how they found out. What are we going to do about it? Listen to me, Mr. Whitman. I'm on your side from the second you say the word. I'd be downright glad to fight against that ornery, scheming, thieving hawk, Slade. I want to work for you and money don't count. All right. You're working for me from now on. Check your guns and be sure they're ready for action. Jeff, Jeff, what are you going to do? Do? Well, there's only one thing to do, Martha. We're going over to Bullhide Creek and get Brad out of that shanty before daybreak. <laughs> Ranger and Tonto had paused on their way to Jeff Whitman's house when they saw Randy ride up and go inside. They had heard the conversation through a slightly open window and then taken off at top speed. Yes, sir. Quick, over that way, beyond wood. Get to the west a little. Uh, Miss Abby, get him up. Yes, Masked man and his faithful Indian companion traveled on through the moonlight until they came to Bullhide Creek. They followed the creek downstream, reining up when they came within full view of a small cabin. Oh, sir. Oh, sir. There it is, Tonto. Through the trees. Ah. You see, Captain. That's the one. There may be guards nearby. I think it for granted the place is guarded. You mind if I get in a circle to the right to draw the attention of the guards? Keep out a pistol range, but open fire into the air. Ah, uh, savvy. The guard's got to see about the shooting. I'll have a chance to get through to Brad. When we talk to him, we'll learn more about Hulk Slade. Uh, that's right. All right, get going. Get him up to scout. Stay there. Steady, boy. Easy. Take it easy. Quiet, quiet, fellow. We'll wait until Toto starts shooting. Tonto's gunfire brought no response. No guards around the shack leaped to attention. There were no shouts of surprise. When the masked man reined up in front of the shack, he realized for the first time that the dark place was apparently unguarded. But in this, he was mistaken. Hawk and several of his men, crouching low in the shadows, ignored the shooting and concentrated all of their attention on the tall, masked figure who stood in the moonlight. Something strikes me funny about this. What do you mean, Hunk? Take a look at that critter. He's big. Yeah. And that horse he rode. And the way he rode it. Looks to me like something's going See, wrong. Jake, he's wearing a mask. Well, what do you make of it, boss? I don't know. He's examining the lock on that door. Stand ready, Jake, and pass the word to the others. Right. Pass the word along, boys. Stand ready. Brad, Brad Whitman, are you in there? Locked. Let's get in here. <laughs> That's what I wanted, Jake. He's fired on the lock to smash it. That fixes things just right, don't it, Hawk? Come on, we'll move up slow. Dark as the inside of a pocket. Brad, you're in here. Let me know where. If you're gagged, kick the floor. What's the matter with Silver? Silver, what's wrong, boy? Something's wrong out there, and Silver knows it. Got you coming. Well, your hands up. Slade. Hold on, you. Slamming that door won't take it. And I'll drive away and we shoot through the door. Bullets can go both ways through this door. Now listen to me a minute, Mr. We've got men enough to surround that place. You can't get out without surrendering. Where's Brad Whitman? That's something you'll never know.
The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. Continue our story. The Lone Ranger had reached the shack on Bullhide Creek ahead of Jeff Whitman and Randy Simpson. He was not greatly concerned about his safety when Hawk Slade's men trapped him in the cabin. He knew that Tonto was nearby and that Jeff Whitman and Randy were on their way. Hawk Slade and his men outside the cabin made hasty plans. Say, Hawk, we can get him out in a hurry if we set fire to the cabin. Don't be a fool, Jake. If we burn the cabin, we'll destroy all the evidence I said. Who is that critter, anyway? How do I know? What about his horse over yonder? Never mind his horse. You boys spread out and find the critter that came here with him. He's over there somewhere he's among the trees. You stay here with me, Jake. All right. Now, I'll deal with that gent inside. And I can throw some shots at him. Stop it, Jake. Save your cartridges. There's no use throwing lead through that door unless you can see what you're aiming at. Gunfire was heard by Jeff Whitman and Randy Simpson as they rode through the woods approaching the shack. Rain up, Randy! Oh, 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 oh. Something going on up ahead there. Yeah, seems like it. Randy, see those fellas in the moonlight? See that one with the broad shoulders? That's Hawk, isn't it? Maybe so. It is, I know it is. And they've been firing on Brad. They've been firing on my grandson. Dead rat it, I'll show them. Hold it. Huh? Get your hands up, you old goat. I'll let you have it right here and now. What? But I... Look here, Randy. What's the idea? I went to your place because Slade sent me there. He... He sent you? You were supposed to go and bust into that shack and give Slade cause to shoot you. The law backs a man that shoots someone breaking into his property. Shoot me? You mean that Brad isn't in that cabin at all? (laughs) Of course not. He's hid away back near the ranch house where neither you nor anyone else can find him. Why? Keep him up, Jeff. Keep him up. I've got to see what's going on down there. Seems like someone else busted into that shack ahead of you. You drop guns. What? Me take them. You will not. No oh, I'm plenty fool. You got him in the arm. Hey, hey, say, who are you? Me, friend. Other friend in camp. Slade. Slade over here. Shut him up. Me fix him. Oh. Hold that, boys. Brandy's in trouble. Me stop him. The Lone Ranger heard the voice of Tonto in the distance. When he heard Hawk move away, he dashed from the cabin and leaped astride the great horse Silver. Mon Silver! Hawk Slade's men were confused, and so was Hawk Slade. Before anyone was aware of the masked man's sudden move, the Lone Ranger had reached Tonto among the trees. Mon Silver, back. Easy enough. us. Run up and get away from here. But who are you? David, Jeff. Run up and follow us. All right. Mon Silver! Get him up. Come. Get him up. Safely away from Hawk Slade and the ambush he had planned, the Lone Ranger identified himself as a friend and declared his intention to try to find Brad Whitman. He outlined a plan while the old man nodded. Uh, anything you say, mister. I made a mistake in trusting Randy, but I reckon I'm not making no mistake in trusting you. Then we'll go to your house right away. Randy Simpson had recovered from Tonto's blow. His wounded arm was bandaged, 
And then Hawk Slade asked questions. I'll tell you, I don't know nothing about it, Hawk. Who is that mass man? How do I know? Who is the Indian? Tell me that. I uh, wish I could figure it out. You boys got any ideas? No, I haven't, boss. Well, it's water over the dam now. My plan fell through. What about Brad? What do you plan to do with him? He won't be found. Not where I've got him hidden. I get your horses, boys. We'll get back to the ranch house. There's no use hanging around here. Right, boss. Meanwhile, at Jeff Whitman's home, the old man and his wife brought clothing from a chest and spread it out for the inspection of the Lone Ranger. Uh, you see. That's all the clothing Brad brought with him when he come from the North Country. Except, of course, what he took to the Slade Range. Uh, your boots, little bitches, a shirt, bandana. Did you wear the same color shirt? Yes. All right, then this outfit will do. What are you going to do? We need a man to wear these clothes. How many men have you on the ranch, Jeff? <laughs> About seven. That's a long ways from the 25 men I used to have. Yes, it is. No, seven wouldn't be with us, but the ones that are gone loyal. We haven't had pay for three months. I see. Which one of those men is the size of your grandson, Jeff? Well, I... Uh, you mean so as he can wear these clothes? Yes, they're much too small for me. Is there anyone else who could wear them? I reckon Sam could. That's right. Sam's just about Bradley's size. But how will that help us locate Brad? I'll tell you all about it later, Jeff. Right now, we've got to find Sam. I want to get to Hawk Slade's ranch house by daybreak. It was just before dawn when the Lone Ranger and Tonto, accompanied by old Jeff and the cowboy called Sam, who wore Brad's clothing, reined up not far from Hawk Slade's ranch house. <laughs> already breaking over in the east. Sam, you keep an eye on that ranch house. When it's light, you'll be able to see Tonto and me. When you wave your hand, it's my move. That's right. Go on, Tonto. And I'm up to scout. You uh, want some more coffee, Randy? Uh, I don't mind if I do. I hope you don't hold it against me. I mean about that mask man showing up last night to spoil our plans. <laughs> Since last night, Randy, I've got another idea. Yeah? What's that? Maybe he'd uh, like to swap his ranch for the kid. You mean... I mean, uh, uh, give him a boy alive if he'll sign over to me. By Thunder Hawk, it'd work. I know it would. It's just one thing. What's that? Brad is turned free. He can go to the law with what he knows about you. <laughs> you don't savvy all my plan. What I'll do is this. I promise to let Brad go if Whitman makes over his property to me. But uh, once he signed it over, he can go and whistle. You uh, aim to kill Brad? We've got to. He knows too much about me. Are you sure he does? Yeah. He, uh, he can prove that we stole considerable cattle from old Jeff. He can prove we forged a few names to build a sale. And uh, that's not all. Seems like that's enough. Hey, listen to this. He knows that me and four of my boys are wanted for that train stick up in Kansas. Well, he does? Yeah. I had a handbill about that describing us. Somehow or other, he found that handbill. It was in his gear. You'll have a time disposing of a dead man, won't you? Hello. <laughs> uh, we'll dig a hole in the root cellar where we've been holding him prisoner. And plant him mad. Wonder who that is. I'll go. Well, hi, Randy. What do you want? Just came to bring this cash to you. Old Jeff is downright pleased. What are you talking about? <laughs> You know what I'm talking about, Randy. Brad was downright grateful, too. Ah, these are his clothes. They're given to me just for bringing this cash to you. What's that? Look here, I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, I, I didn't see Slade over there. Let me see that cash. Now, see here. Wait, Hawk. Uh, a hundred bucks. Huh? Oh, that. Oh, that, Mr. Slade. Well, that, that's just a gambling debt. Yeah. Well, that's a lie. Old Jeff's grateful, huh? You got Brad's clothes. Boss, wait. Get him up, both of you. 
You two. Well, now, wait. Hold on a minute. Look, I, I, I thought you double crossed me last night when that masked man shot a brandy. Then you got me thinking different. But now, by something... I didn't double cross you, boss. I swear I didn't. Give me that gun. I'll take yours. Now, too. see here. Let me explain. You already me. explained, and I heard it. Need any help, boss? No, I can take care of these two. You lead the way, Simpson. Over to the root cellar. If you think I'll let Brad out, you... There's his clothes. What more do you want? Go on. Get walking. If he got out of the root cellar, he got out himself. I didn't let him out. No one else could. No one else was down there. No one else knew where he was hid. But that root cellar won't be empty long. I spoke at digging a grave there. If the place is empty right now, you two can start digging. When you're through digging, you can start occupying. That's far enough. Stand where you are. Gosh, you sure made a fool play this time. You gotta listen to me, boss. It's a trick, I tell you. They're just trying to frame me. Open that door. Go on, open it. Open it wide and then get down the stairs. Hurry it up. I'm opening it. Now go on. Get down there. Pull this leg. Get the mask, man. You! It's a trick. I got him. Look over the horse, fellow. Yep, already see. Him come now. What out of there, Brad? I don't know how this happened, but that's an invitation I sure aim to accept from you. You were down there. I told you he was. But the clothes. Extras. Brad, your grandpa said I could have this outfit. <laughs> Whatever grandpa said is all right with me, Sam. Did you get what you came here for, Brad? If you're talking about evidence about this pack of crooks, I sure did. Hey, Brad! Hey there, son! Whoa, whoa. There's a horse for you, Brad. Hey! We got a hightail as fast. Slade's men are on the way. We'll get away. That's more than you'll do, Slade. He's wanted for train robbery and murder, and so are some of his men. The law will close in before he can get far. Come on, Brad. Hit the saddle, Slade. Slade, we got to get away somehow. Yeah. Well, how far do you think we'll get? Look over there. Come on, Brad. There comes Slade's ranch hands. Yeah, ranch hands. <laughs> I wish they were. There's no hurry, Jeff. Those horsemen are with the United States Marshal. I'll have delivered a message to him during the night. Where are the ranch hands? Where are the boys? By this time, I think the marshal has them all in custody. Oh, 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 oh. Well, there you are, marshal. There's a couple of prize crooks for you to take. Well, that makes it complete. And wait till you hear what I can tell you about the hombres around this place. You can tell us while we're putting ropes on Slade and Randy Simpson. And at the same time, tell us who in thunder that masked man is. Let's go, Toto. Hey, wait. Come back here. <laughs> I'll tell you who he is, Marshal. He's a lone ranger. just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated, 